Let's look at solving a first order differential equation using Laplace transforms. So here's a differential equation, dx by dt minus 8x equals 12, and the initial conditions are at t equals 0, x equals 2. Whenever you solve a differential equation, you're going to have a function. So the function at the end will be x equals something, and that's what we're trying to find out here. Now, we'll change the nomenclature of this. Rather than have dx by dt, we'll use x dot. So we've got x dot minus ax equals 12. Initial conditions, t equals 0 when x equals 2. Now, we'll use what we've learned in the previous video to rewrite each of these terms here, the x dot, ax, and the 12, in terms of the Laplace domain variable s. So what we can say is, the Laplace transform of x dot equals s x bar minus x zero. So that's just telling us the Laplace transform of a derivative is s times the Laplace transform of the function x minus the value of the function when t equals zero. The Laplace transform of eight x, well, using the linearity property, that's just eight times the Laplace transform of our function x, and the Laplace transform of function x is simply written as x bar. Laplace transform of 12 equals 12 upon s. Now what we do is we simply put these values here in for the values up here. And this equation here, x dot minus 8x equals 12, that's equivalent to writing sx bar minus x naught minus 8x bar equals 12 upon s. So now let's add in the initial conditions at t equals 0, x equals 2. So this value x0 0 here is simply the value of the function whenever t equals 0, which is equal to 2. So that x0 is simply that value 2. So we can say sx bar minus 2 minus 8x bar equals 12 upon s. Now what we want to do is try and find out what x bar is. So if we gather the like terms, we'll have s minus 8x bar minus 2 equals 12 upon s. So we want to transpose this equation for x bar. So x bar is going to equal 12 upon s plus the 2 divided by s minus 8. And then what we can do is we can take the common factor here in this line here of s, and we'll have 12 plus 2s all upon s. So that's equivalent to 12 plus 2s all upon s, s minus 8. Now what we're going to do is we'll split that into 2. So we can split into the 12 upon s, s minus 8, and the 2s upon s, s minus 8. But in the second term here, the 2s, the s here cancels with that s here, so you're just left with the 2. So you're going to finally be left with 12 upon s, s minus 8, plus 2 upon s minus 8. So this has done all the, the hard work here. That's has found the Laplace domain solution for that differential equation. Now we have to convert it back to the time domain. That is, we have to do the inverse Laplace transform of this function here. So let's just go ahead and we'll work through that. So we're looking for the inverse Laplace transform of 2 upon s minus 8. So that's by linearity, 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 8. So that's 2e to the 8t. Now the second term is going to be 12 upon s, s minus 8. Now we've seen from previously, when we did partial fraction expansions, that's the same as a upon s plus b upon s minus 8. And then we can use the cover up rule, and we can cover up the s, and we'll be left with 12 upon s minus 8, and the limit is s tends towards 0. So that's going to equal our 12 upon minus 8, which is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Similarly, we can find out the value for our other component here. So our s minus 8 covered up would be 12 upon s, and it's the limit as s tends towards 8. So that will equal to 3 upon 2. So we can put our values of our minus 3 upon 2 and 3 upon 2 into the equation above there, and we'll simply have our 3 upon 2 all upon s, minus 3 upon 2 upon s minus 8. So that's going to be equal to inverse plus transform of 3 upon 2 all upon s is just 3 upon 2. And the Laplace transform of this thing here, per section here, is minus 3 upon 2e to the 8t. 
So finally, when we add them all together, we'll have 3 upon 2 plus 2e to the 8t minus 3 upon 2e to the 8t. So we can subtract this one from another and we'll be left with 3 upon 2 plus a half e to the 8t. So this here is the solution to the differential equation that we've been looking for. So it's an x equals, and that's the section there, 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2e to the 8t. So we're going to go ahead and the next video and we'll go through some examples with solutions. Thank you for listening and goodbye.